CataractCoach.com. Why I prefer bevel down. So why is my phaco tip bevel down for phaco chop? I get asked this question all the time. And let me explain it to you. So you can go bevel up, bevel down, any way you like, whatever makes you happy. But the reason I choose bevel down is because of the fundamentals of phaco chop. The fundamental is you'll hold the nucleus with the high vacuum of the phaco probe while the chopper divides or splits up the nucleus. So to achieve this with a peristaltic pump, you need occlusion. So look, I'll go bevel down and then I can immediately get occlusion of the tip and therefore build up of high vacuum and we can chop. Could you go bevel up? Of course you can, that works too. But think about it, if the bevel is up, it's not as easy to achieve occlusion. You have to put the probe deeper into the nucleus just to get occlusion. And once you get occlusion, the peristaltic pump will increase the vacuum. So in a case like this, where I'm using a peristaltic machine and I have a nucleus to chop, we wanna go bevel down. Because the second the phaco tip hits the nucleus, it's already in a position to be occluded. I don't have to bury it very deep into the nucleus. So that's the reason why I go bevel down. Now, what if you're using a Venturi machine? Well, on a Venturi machine, you can achieve high vacuum immediately, whether or not you have the tip occluded. So maybe you'll have better holding power with an unoccluded tip, and therefore bevel up would be fine or equally as good. But I think for, since most of us are using a peristaltic pump to do phaco surgery, we want to go in the method that's going to give you the best occlusion and therefore the high vacuum level to hold the nucleus to chop it. If you don't hold the nucleus firmly with the phaco uh, tip, it's very difficult to chop it. Now we've shown videos of other surgeons and even me where you can chop the nucleus without even using phaco energy, without even burying the probe in the eye. You just have to have two instruments that are directly opposed to each other and then bring them together. And that alone will hold the nucleus in position while it's chopped. But for most chop techniques, remember the idea is cutting a stake. The fork has to hold the stake still while the knife does the cutting. So in our analogy here, the phaco probe with high vacuum has to hold the nucleus still so that the chopper can then cut or break up the nucleus. And so achieving that high vacuum is what gives you the holding power. And high vacuum in a peristaltic pump is only achieved when the tip is occluded. And therefore, my advice to you is for doing phaco chop, if you're gonna do it my technique, Go bevel down. So I hope that helps to answer the question of why do you always go bevel down? And it's a pretty common question. I probably get an email or two every single week asking me that. So this is the answer to the question.